Hi, this is Mateo and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about Earth Day and how to help the Earth. We'll be showcasing animals and insects too. Well, first off, we have this insect here and this is a big headed ground beetle. This beetle is found in North America, South America, Central America, and Carib the Caribbean. Let me introduce you to Katie, and she's going to be talking about how to feed animals. It can be tempting to feed animals in the wild. And if you're going to feed animals in the wild, you have to know what you're feeding them. So one of the most commonly fed animals is ducks, and they're usually fed bread or other picnic items. So the problem with that is, bread is one of the worst things the ducks can eat because it blocks their digestive system. And then when they need to get other nutrients like worms, they can't because of the bread. It won't kill them, but it's just really unhealthy. So what you should do is you should go online and research what the duck actually needs to eat or whatever animal you want to feed in the wild. And then after you do that, you'll have the, the food that they really need to eat that will make them happy and healthy. Um, and then if you're going to feed animals in the wild, please do so responsibly. Hi, this is Mateo again. And behind me, we have the white mallard. The white mallard is at least concerned during its population, but it's slowly decreasing. I challenge you to find a feather of a duck or a bird. Now I'm going to introduce you to Madeline and she's going to be talking about conserving energy, staying active, and recycling. Hi, I'm Madeline and I will be telling you about recycling, conserving energy, and staying active and not using your car too much. Recycling is where you put aluminum cans, paper, plastic, cardboard, and don't forget glass in one certain bin. You may see this bin every day. It is blue or green and has three arrows that go in a circle. When people don't recycle correctly, the trash goes into landfills and oceans. Many animals get harmed from this. It is so important that you recycle your, the correct things in the right bins or else you could be harming the earth too. One good tip is to be organized at home. Putting the right trash in the right bins is a good place to start. Now it's time for fact time. Hi, I'm still Madeline with Fact Time. Did you know that recycling one ton of paper can save 17 trees? Americans use more than 67 million tons of paper per year. That's 580 pounds per person. It's time to take your part in saving the planet. Conserving energy. Energy means taking shorter showers, using less TV, video games, and turning off your lights. A good tip is where, when you brush your teeth to so turn off the water while you're brushing. Don't forget to close your fridge too. Now for fact time. Remember that time your parents got mad at you for forgetting to close the fridge door? That's because whenever you don't close it, you lose 30% of the cold air that was in there. Go. Welcome back and what we have here is some Egyptian geese. Well, I actually wrote an article about him in my neighborhood, so I know quite a few things about him. So, their population is decreasing, so if you do help on this Earth Day, you might as well help this Egyptian bees right here. Let me introduce you to Roman, and he's going to be talking about the water catch system. This is a water catch system. It starts up there at the roof, where it then percolates down through these pipes into this gigantic storage tank, which they can then use to irrigate the park. Hi, this is Mateo again, and here we have a mute swan. This mute swan is native to Eurasia, the north part of Africa, and people have brought it to North America. So, I challenge you to find any type of bird. Because it's Earth Day, I thought I'd talk about animal rights. So, when you're at the grocery store, one thing you can do for animals is try to buy cage-free eggs, also cage-free chicken. Um, or when you're in their natural habitat, you can try to be respectful because it is their home. Just as long as you can remember that we are all equals because we are all animals, you are doing animals the favor of respecting them. Behind me is a blue crane, and they're native to um, North America and Central America and I also challenge you to find a few flowers. Next we have Roman again and he's going to be talking about picking up trash.
So you can take a stick and turn it into a pole to punch your trash that you don't have to touch it with your right <coughs> hand. Like so. See? Now you can clean now you can clean up your forest without having to touch the trash itself. Bye. Here we have a three-leaf clover. Well, I challenge you to try to find a four-leaf clover, and if you can't, try to find a three-leaf clover. Next, we have Katie Chaplin, and she's going to be talking about reusable cups. Today, I'm going to show you guys the difference between a disposable cup and a reusable cup. So, with this cup, they both hold liquids. But this cup will end up in a landfill, and this cup you can use for the next 10 or 15 years. So, which is why I strongly suggest that because of birthday, you only use water bottles. There's no point to these. They're, if you do have them at home, you can find creative and ways to continue to use them. For instance, like paint holders and things. Don't just throw them away. But in the future, try to only use plastic water bottles. Oh, hello. And we just caught this um, lizard. It's an ant oak. And so um, I challenge you to try to look for a lizard. And it is very hard to catch one after an hour of looking for one. So, good luck. Well, um, this is gonna be our final tip from Roman, and he's gonna have some watering tips on how to um, make your plants grow and how to make sure they're healthy. This is a drip irrigator and a rain gauge. The drip irrigator part of it helps you water your plant without having to over water it. The rain gauge tells you how much rain water your lawn has gotten and if you need to add more. The average amount that you should have water put onto your lawn per week is about one inch. This is when it's fully assembled. As you can see, it slowly pours water down into one area. And this is how it works. Now, this is a lawn rain gauge. You can stick this into your lawn to see how much water you have accumulated. Bye. So in my palms right now is a love bug and it might have already escaped, but hopefully I get good luck. Yep, it is still on my palm. So, yeah. I challenge you to try to catch one of your own. Staying active and not using your car is good for the earth and your body. Whenever you're going long distances or going on a highway, it's good to have a car. But whenever you're only going short distances, like a couple of neighborhoods by, it's good to have a bike, to walk, or to scooter. Bye! Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you could find all the things in the scavenger hunt. And this is just the beautiful scenery behind me, and I have a special thanks to all the people that helped me out in the video. And after this is going to be the bloopers. First today, I'm going to be talking to you about animal rights. So, is there ketchup on my face? <laughs> so, we need to learn that we have to do. Hi, this is Mateo again. And now we have these white mallards. And look, there's one that has a little white fluff ball on your head. That is. In honor of Earth Day, I'm going to be talking to you about animal rights. When you're at the grocery store, you can try to buy fish free ads as opposed to eggs. Uh, well, in my palms right now, I, I think I have a love book. It might have escaped, so uh, I challenge you to find a love book. Now let me introduce you to, um, 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 um. This is Mateo Arnold, and thank you for watching this video. And a special thanks to Madeline, K Katie, and Roman, which helped me greatly in this video. And I hope all of you Faye families could find all the things in the scavenger hunt. Bye.